the number of digits in the decimal expansion of 16 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 16 is. So, let us call the number n is equal to 16 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 16. So, this is 2 raised to 4 whole raised to 5 into 5 raised to 16. So, this is 2 raised to 20 into 5 raised to 16. So, this is 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 16 into 5 raised to 16. So, this is 16 into 10 raised to 16. So, obviously, this when you uh, when you uh, expand this, uh, the number of digits will be 18. So, this is a very easy problem which could be solved very quickly. Uh, we were able to solve this problem very easily because it had powers of 10. This has powers of 10 here. However, uh, this won't be the case always. So, I am giving you a general method which will work for any problem of this type. It is very based on a, a very important technique called the logarithms. So, before uh, trying to attempt this method, uh, please do revise the properties of logarithms. Okay. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to take logarithm of uh, n, logarithm on both sides to the base 10. So, we have log n to the base 10 is equal to log 16 to the power 5 into 5 to the power 16 to the base 10. So, this is equal to, I am using properties of logarithms here. So, this is log 16 to the power 5 to the base 10 plus log 5 raised to 16. Now, again, this is 5 log 16 plus 16 log 5. So, this is the 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4. So, that is 20 log 2 to the base 10 plus 16 into log 5 to the base 10 can be written as log 10 to the base 10 minus log 2 to the base 10. So, this expression finally becomes 16 plus 4 log 2 to the base 10. Now, log 2 to the base 10 is a standard value and this value is 0 0.0301. Sorry, it is 0 0.301. 0 0.301. Now, substitute for the value of log 2 as 0 0.301. This becomes 17.204. Now, when you remove logarithm, n becomes 10 raised to 17.204. So, this is 10 raised to 0 0.204 into 10 raised to 17. Now, 10 raised to 0 0.204 will lie between 10 raised to 0 and 10 raised to 1. So, that means this will be a number between 1 and 10. So, this number will be between 1 and 10. So, th this is a number between 1 and 10 into 10 raised to 17. So, it has 18 digits. That is the answer. C is the answer. So, this is a general method which can be applied for all problems. Only thing you, you might be, uh, you might need to know the uh, standard values of uh, say log 2 to the base 10, log 3 to the base 10, etcetera.